What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of The Escapist. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and try and escape from Stalag Flacht. And so today I think we should probably... How's my intellect looking? I'm gonna go ahead and train my speed for a little while. In the previous episode, we had had some minor troubles. Not like some big ones, but unfortunately, we keep coming up with plans that this prison is just not susceptible to. And so for right now, I think the thing that I want to accomplish is we're just gonna get the red key, we're gonna get a guard outfit, and that's gonna be that. And then we're gonna be the hell out of here. The one thing that always confuses me is, like, after you beat up a guard, and they wake up naked, why don't they- why aren't you the first person that they search? Like, they just don't seem to care, they're like, Oh look, I got beat up and I'm naked again. Just another day at Stalag Flocht. <laughs> I just like saying Flocht. I know it's not pronounced like that, but it's fun to say. I don't know why. We've got leisure work period. So I'm thinking that instead of taking a job for a little bit, I may just run around and help people with stuff. We have 32% fatigue and so for right now I'm gonna jump in the shower for a minute in case we have to fight somebody randomly because we do have enemies in the yard we gotta watch out so we're gonna rinse out that enormous back-sized butt crack that we have right now and once we're down to like 50% we should be good for just about everything else the red key card so we need officer Pierre the other thing that we're gonna need pretty shortly what are you doing right now Carter mr. Katia how you doing right now we got some timber over here let me go ahead and I'm actually gonna take stock of what I have at the moment I actually took the weekend off and so I have no clue what's going on right now with the playthrough and I want to make sure that I have everything all nice and indexed before we go any further I've got timber lightweight cutters wait I got thrown into the how come they didn't take all my contraband oh that's weird okay so apparently they didn't take all my contraband I don't know Something weird's going on right now. Maybe I loaded my save or something and it reverted it. I don't think that it did though. Like I thought we got thrown into the I thought we got thrown into the solitary confinement gulag just a minute ago, so I have no idea what's going on. Eh, whatever. For right now we seem to be alright. We can get into this area right here. We have green keys, yellow keys. We might be able to make this work and just sort of like have a look around. I want the red key though, but we need a weapon. So let's figure out where we can get a weapon from. That's Walt's desk. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll run through Walt's desk real fast. If we can find anything. So there's some soap. If we can make a sock mace, that's actually probably one of the easiest weapons we can make for right now. Tube of toothpaste. Somebody needed a dog tag, didn't they? Wasn't I looking for one? Yeah, Craig needed one. And so, Carter, you had a hammer, actually. I don't want to pay 75 bucks, though, considering I have no income at the moment. I am broke as a joke. Let's go ahead and have a look inside Craig's desk because he's a dirty, rotten snitch and nobody cares about what he wants anyways. We've got chocolate bars, nothing in here. If I had another piece of timber, we could make some nunchucks, I think. I think it takes a wire and two of the timbers. We can try. There's another one right there. And if we take two of these, I think we can make nunchucks. I don't remember if it was a wire or if it was a string that you craft it with, but either way, it's a pretty good weapon. We need one more int. Well, let's go get that right now. We will increase our brain power until our brain is all loby and nasty like Krang from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've been watching that over again. I actually have like the box set or whatever where it has like all the early episodes. I'm actually a little bit disappointed though because like they added in. So there's a whole bunch of like these weird like WB versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles that I've never seen before. Like I was unaware of this TV show. I remember all the classic ones from back in the day that are animated in the same style as like Transformers and stuff like that. But apparently there was like another series that was either run on like Fox or WB or something like that where the animation's a little bit cleaner but the voice actors are different. And I don't know. Not feeling it so far. But I do like, yeah, nunchaku! Now that I have the nunchaku, I still have a hammer. Yeah, I swear to God that I got arrested already. It's a 5 out of 5 though, so let's take it. I don't know if I need... What do you use the hammer for? What does the hammer do? Like, what does that accomplish? We need Officer Pierre. And so if we can roll Officer Pierre before this gets any rowdier. We can't fight him on the yard. We gotta get him while he's inside of a building somewhere because I learned that lesson the hard way last time. This time around, let's go ahead and we'll do some press-ups real fast. I'm saying the actual word this time. Push-ups. There we go. We will hoist ourselves into the air until our biceps and our triceps and every other part of our body become strong. And if you're trying to work out, actually, that's a really, really good workout regimen. Seriously, push-ups are like a magical, magical thing. It's amazing what you can accomplish with just push-ups. We need to give Craig a dog tag. There he is. Hey, Craig. Talk to me, buddy. There you go. I'll give you a dog tag. It's $21. We needed a poster for Walt, a pack of mint from Officer Mike, and then we needed a dog tag from Ronald. Okay, well we don't necessarily have like a huge opening right now. Was that Walt? I think if we time this right, we'll be able to loot him up and see what we can get. There we go, pack of mint, service metal, and up. He's got a pillow, so he's ready to pillow fight people. 
All right, well, I'm not gonna judge, but I really do feel like a pillow is a subpar weapon for prison. Officer Sang's going down through there. Oh, we needed melted. Okay, so we needed a wad of putty first, too. Do I have one of those on me, or do I need to... Somebody took a dump on my bed. Who did you piss off? Like, that's the question you gotta ask yourself, is when it gets that extreme, when it gets that real up in prison, who did you make angry? Like, you must have taken things way over the line. So we got talcum powder, and we need toothpaste in order to make the wad of putty. So let's go ahead and track one of those tubes down right this second. There's the tube of toothpaste. Get those two bad boys combined, and then we find Officer Pierre, and we follow him around until he leaves himself open. That's Officer Sang. Where's this guy at? Officer Pierre? Where can I find you, sir? Make yourself known to me, Officer Chase. Officer Chase is not who we need right now. I need Officer Pierre. Officer Bruce, Officer Chase, Officer Sang. Officer Chase, Officer Pierre. There he is. Come on. Ah, I was going to jump him when he rolled through there, but I don't think it was going to be available. Where are we going? I can't jump him outside because if I do, the guard towers will actually shoot me. No, he went through the red gate. Damn it. That's problematic. All right. Well, at least that indicates that he does indeed have the red key that we need. And I think we vouched for that already. I think we've only got like five minutes left, though, before we're going to get called off our watch. You'd think he'd be suspicious by now. We're just walking along the fence, like, staring at him hungrily, just like, Hey, Officer Pierre, where are you going right now? You want to come hang out with me? Hopefully he'll check one of these over here, maybe. I guess not. This patrol seems to be pretty much out in the open. He's going to go back in there. He's going to check the generator. We could use the yellow key to wait on him. I think the generator turns off the electric fence or something like that. I'm not completely sure on that front, but I think it does. And it looks like we've lost him. I don't know where he pops back out again. But, unfortunately, his patrol... I think the place where we could possibly whack him... Oh, there he is right there. I think the place where we could best whack him is in between a building or something. So evening meals take a place. Yeah, we're gonna have to take him while he's like Either that or we're gonna have to wait for him to get into a fight with somebody. I don't know. Let's get our fatigue down real fast It looks like we got another fight taking place James is down and then who else got their ass whipped right there? This might also not be a terrible point at which to do it All right, so there's the red key Let's take a second, we'll make the key mold, we'll reopen his inventory, we'll drop that off, and now that we've made the key mold, we're going to walk off apparently with our lunch in hand. That dude got his ass whooped while we were eating lunch. That's pretty G'd out right there. Alright, so we got the mold, we got that thing right there, we need to find ourselves a comb, a lighter, and once we have that, we can make the red key, and then once we have that, I'm pretty sure we can get the hell out of here tonight. And so anyways, I'm probably just going to flush the hammer. I don't see any. It's like dropping the hammer, but a little bit different. If we flush that for right now, I think it'll probably give us a little bit of an opening. We need to go to our... Oh, we have leisure work period right now. Okay, that works out for me. 56% heat, so we should probably lay low for a little bit. That's okay, because I've been feeling a little bit tired anyways. Somebody took a dump in my sink. You're just having a hard day, aren't you, Craig? Dump on the bed, dump in the sink. It's a bad, bad day to be Craig is what I learned here. All right, so he doesn't have anything for us. And a bar of chocolate. I actually would love to find another thing of duct tape if I can. I don't know. If we could find some duct tape around here, that would be fantastic. And it would make me very, very happy. James, what you got going on? Huh? Clark, relieve me of my service medal. Can you get it back? Yeah, I can do that. Sounds good to me. What other quest do we have? Ronald needs an ass whooping, huh? Sorry, buddy. It's your turn. Take that dog tag back, earn a little bit of money because we could always use a few more stacks. We got to watch out for Officer Pierre because he is going to be on the lookout for us. I'm going to start going through some desks and things too in our free time. See if we can lock down maybe some of the stuff we need for freebies. Got that right there. Bottle of medicine. Nope. If we could find a lighter though, that would be great. I don't think you're allowed to have a lighter in prison because I've seen a number of techniques for starting fires in prison that don't involve a lighter. Where essentially what you do is you roll up toilet paper and then you can use the burning toilet paper. You kind of make a cylinder out of it. Sort of an interesting technique. I forget how they got it lit. They got it lit somehow and I gotta look it up. I remember I watched them do it on a TV show or something like that. It was an actual inmate. Hey, there's Officer Pierre right there. We probably don't want to fight back right now. Let's just go ahead and lose him around the back of a building or something. Once we get enough range on him, he'll give up. 
little bit of a setback right there, but nothing to be too worried about. Officer Mike, I think he was doing ass whooping too, wasn't he? And he takes somebody's pack of mints or something like that. Sad day when you're getting your ass whipped over a pack of mints, that's for sure. Getting that beat down. He got a couple of free shots in. I'm sure he feels fine about it. Officer Mike, you want to go in the showers with me? Ah, uh, become good friends. I've got Nunchaku, and I will take you out with him. Well, let's see if we can find a lighter then. I don't think we have much of a choice. That punk Carter's been disrespecting me. Knock him about and get paid. Craig, what you got? Same thing that you had before. Step stool shaving cream. All right, so nothing right there. Still need that lighter. I think we might be stuck waiting on it, though. I think we got everybody else's desk for right now, so it might be might be a little while before we can lock down a lighter. I think I've been going through stuff pretty rapidly lately anyways. Watching out for fights might be a good way to get it done. These guys are just going to ineffectually punch each other to death. They're both using pillows. See, that's the problem. Ah, that is taking forever. Whack him too while he's there. And a pack of mints and some other stuff. Sock and a pack of mints. Nope, nobody has anything that I want. So let's go to shower time. I know, hurry up, Scud Nuts. Oh no, we made it. Nobody's bothering us to shower right now. Good. We must not be super stinky at the moment. Although we do tend to be quiet. Keep your eyes north, fool. I don't have a compass. I don't know which direction to look. I'm so confused. I feel so threatened right now. What will I ever do? Chung, James, Jaden, Ronald, Craig, Clark. There's a lot of people whose names start with C in this prison. Well, a couple. There are also several people that start with J. So if you got a C or a J in your name, I think you're going to fit in just fine. Watching out for the lighter. Hopefully these stores will cycle today or tomorrow and we'll be able to get ourselves a lighter. Because up until then, I don't know any creative ways to get plastic melted. So we'll just have to figure it out. The shakedowns for today are... James and Vault. Okay, sounds good to me. I need a pocket watch. Can you get one? Yeah, I think I can get a pocket watch. If we could get a poster, I'm going to get rid of that because I don't think we're going to use it. Service medal from Clark. Yeah, we got a bunch of stuff that's going to be very, very possible for right now. Don't you be rolling your eyes at me. There's Officer Mike. We got this guy. We got him covered. We got him taken care of. He is done for. I like how they get little flashlights at night. When we say jump, you say how high, with what strength, on what foot. Alright, back to bed we go. Hopefully we don't get shook down for right now. I think... Man, let's just crash out for the night. We'll go straight into tomorrow. There's no point wasting time on it. Alright, well on to the next day, I guess. We'll take a look around after this one. I mean, I'd really like to get out of here within the next day or two. We have all the things that we need. And so I figure if we could take that down. I'm still not sure how that lockdown mechanic works. Like in the previous episode, oh, it looks like this guy's trying to build his way the hell on out of here. He's got timber and all kinds of other stuff going on. He's got dirt and all kinds of things inside of his cell. What have you got for me? Nothing. Roll call, settle down now. I simmer down now. I simmer down now. We're about to have a cell search. It's gonna suck now. James and Scudnut, son of a bitch. All right, so it's me again. We'll drop the comb right there. Grab everything red out of my inventory here. And then we'll just hang tight until after lunch. It's going to give us a 9% right there, but we should still be good. So if you sit there and you just, like, talk to people over and over again, does it eventually raise your reputation with them, or does it take, like, a really, really long time? You get, like, one out of it, maybe? I don't need friends. He gives you a little thumbs-up sign. That moron Walt blocked my cell transfer request with some snitchery. Drop a beat down on him for me. Oh, I got this. There are all kinds of people about to get a whooping right now. It is about to be on. Do we look stupid to you? No, but you definitely sound stupid. So, you know, you've got a whole different sense locked down while you're on the subject. I think that was the cell search right there, but I'm going to keep the stuff on me until free period just in case. And then we should also search Clark's desk for that medley thing. He's got a battery? What is a battery used for? I wonder if we can make a prison sparker. Hmm, I think we can. If you don't know what a prison sparker is, essentially you take a battery and you wrap a wire around both the positive and the negatives. You can use it if you touch the two ends together. Once it's wrapped around, it'll actually shoot a spark and you can light things that way. I wonder if we could accomplish it by doing that. Might be an interesting plan and it might work out for us. I don't know. I'm listening to the rules right now. Let me see if anybody else has any duct tape. There's a couple of things that I want for right now. Anybody that has duct tape, I could use that, although I think our intellect needs to get worked on for a little while. So maybe I'll go down to the library. We'll keep an eye out for Officer Mike because I think we need to whoop him too. But up until an opportunity presents itself, I just got out of the shoe. That explains the smell. 
we'll go and read a couple of books right here. When you're in the shoe, so being in the shoe is actually one of those like horrible experiences that most people really, really try to avoid in prison. I mean, I guess not. A lot of people keep it real. But anyways, if you're going to the shoe, it means you're essentially on lockdown 23 hours a day. The severity depends on the prison that you're at, but most shoes, like if you get put into the secure housing unit, the solitary confinement area, you're not really in solitary because the other cells are along the sides of you and you can hear people and you can pass notes and things like that. But they do have solitary too in a lot of prisons. But anyways, the secure housing is basically for anybody that's like a big hazard to everybody else in the prison or somebody that's frequently in trouble. We need to find ourselves some goodies. I don't think we need any more wood in here. And eh, probably stay away from it for right now. That's saying. Oh, no, don't punch me in the head. I don't want to be punched right now. I'm going to run away because I don't want my heat to get too high. Alright, so back inside. So the things that we're on the lookout for, we need some more duct tape. We need a lighter. And those are the two things that we need. If we can get those, I think we're the hell on out of here. Like, I think we're done. Did I need a pocket watch for somebody? Yeah, for Walt, I needed one. Let me go back through here because I saw interesting things. He's got wood in his desk, I guess. We'll go up here. That's Officer Pierre. He's obviously no longer angry with us because he doesn't want to beat us down. That or he's holding it in very carefully. Dental floss, a little bit of ink. Don't need either of those. People writing like it's the 1700s up in here with quills and ink or ink wells, I guess. Is that what they're called? Ink wells. Almost said ink fountains. I don't know. If it's fountaining ink everywhere, that seems like it would be a big mess. Make your mom angry every time you go to play around with the quill. I got in trouble one time for playing around with my quill. It was a weird day at school. The second grade was never the same. Another pocket watch right there. It looks like we're about to strike out on most of this. Yeah, there's nothing here that we need. Move away, Scud Nuts. And so who needed a whooping today? We needed Clark to get an ass whooping. We needed Carter to get an ass whooping. So Clark and Carter. Let's track them down. There's Jaden. Craig. Clark and Carter, the first ones up. They might be at work right now, though, which might make this a little bit hard to accomplish. There's Ronald. Did Ronald have something? Beat up Carter for Ronald, but I thought I had two. Beat up Walt for Ronald. Oh, really? Ronald's... Start fights with just about everybody. So we got Walt, we got Carter, and we got Clark. There's Walt. Let's get him real quick. So he's down. There's $14 earned. Actually, he had a glass shank. We got to watch out for that. Got a couple of goodies right there that I'll use on myself to get my energy back. There we go. We'll do a couple of push-ups because our strength has been looking weak lately. Max that thing on out. Although I think we should be all right right there after a couple of them. Let's go ahead and push this dude out of the way so that we can use the exercise mat and get our run on. And I ran. I ran so far in place. I couldn't get away. All right. And then hopefully we'll get our speed maxed out too. Intellect needs to hold together so that we can work on the better cutters. But I think if we can get through the outer fence and the inner fence, that's going to be that. I mean, that's basically all there is to think about with a prison escape, right? Outer fence, inner fence, the hell on out. All right, so there's Carter. We got to get him too. Let me jump in the shower for a minute so our fatigue isn't too high. I'm going to try and like stock up maybe $200, $300 along the way. I mean, we got a lot of stuff to do right now. We have a pocket watch for Walt. And didn't I just beat him up? Might be problematic. Jaden. That's Officer Sang. Was Walt the guy that I had the thing for? Yeah, that should clean up the fact that I just beat him up. There's a pocket watch, $20 from him. Will he sell me anything? Roll of duct tape, absolutely. I'll take that right now. And then how high is my intellect? Speed could be a little bit higher. Let's work on intellect for just a minute. So we still need Carter and Clark, but we'll get them when we see him. A couple more of those right there. The point right here is to make sure that our cutters are very, very good so that we can get the hell out of here. I don't know precisely how it's gonna play out, but let's see, beat up Carter for Ronald. Well, there it is. Ass whooping. He doesn't have a lighter, so I'm going to keep on walking. And then that leaves us with Clark. Okay, works out for me. Let's go ahead and we'll take a minute. So can I lay in my bed when it's not time? Oh, I can. You can just, like, lose a little bit of fatigue right there. Okay. I was unaware that that was a mechanic that you could accomplish. And so now we'll take this stuff. We'll make ourselves a new set of cutters. Those should be sturdy, and if we lose these, it's actually a big deal. If you lose the sturdy cutters, that's a considerable amount of work that you've actually spent time, like, getting things together, trying to make sure that it works. I think we'll probably have to knock out our roommate before we leave. I don't know. There's still a whole bunch of experimentation here that I think we're going to have to go through with before we know exactly how this is going to play out, but should be all right. Okay. Part of me sort of wants to go and see what's in these yellow rooms over here. 
because we do have a couple of extra free periods. I haven't memorized the routine yet. The itinerary is still a mystery to me. We needed to get that from Clark. And so I'll be your Huckleberry. There it is. Knock him the hell out. Grab the service medal. Get our $19. And then we'll bail on out. I would love to find a lighter at some point, but I just don't think we're going to be that lucky today. I think we might be waiting this one out until we get the thing that we need. And so... I may play out the rest of the day all by my lonesome. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of The Escapist. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. I had to take a big pause right there. It was an exhaustion pause. I get those every now and again because I don't sleep ever because I'm a bad human being. But anyways, I will see you all later. Hi to everybody. And in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to get our hands on a lighter. Once we do that, we'll be able to make molten plastic. We'll get the hell on out of here. What is that down there at the bottom? That's a weird thing on the edge of my screen. Well, anyways, once we do that, we'll be able to make molten plastic. Once the molten plastic has been made, we'll make a red key. And after making the red key, I think we should be able to at least do a little bit of reconnaissance. So anyways, I'll see y'all there. Hi to everybody.